idiot! Wait a minute. What was that? Brings a whole new meaning to the term. Statuesque, doesn't she? What have you done with time? I... flipped it. I burped it. I took away tomorrow. Why? To get rid of hope. No tomorrow means no hope. Or no hope means no tomorrow. Yeah, but why are you doing this? Because I'm staying here in the third dimension, and no one's making me leave this time. Not anyone. Not you. Not them. Not anybody. And if you try, I'm going to let them destroy themselves. Destroy themselves? Oh, you hadn't noticed? As time doesn't pass, they start to fall apart. Mortals don't hold up well without their tomorrows. Without hope, they die. See, creatures who live within third-dimensional time, they're funny like that. <laughs> I live within three-dimensional time. Oh, yes, but I kept you out for a reason, Mr. Invulnerable. Mr. You can't squish me with the biggest rock you can conjure. I wanted to show you there ain't nothing you can do to stop me. You can't hurt me, tough guy. I'm not 3D like these mortals. I'm 5D, baby. And to you, that might as well be that. Let me know when you're ready to be me. Oh, maybe Perry will never can wait just like that. <laughs> oh, damn it! Okay, I think we've seen enough. How about you? All right, enough. That's it. You release them from this right now, you little gnome, or I promise I'll find a way to send you someplace far worse than your fifth dimension. Look, Mr. Goody Two Boots. <laughs> Not doing anything to them. It's uh, nature just running its course. So he's the first to go. Someone had to be. Are we ready to make a deal? What is it that you want? All right. The terms are this. All in the loop. Personally restore some hope to all these mortals who will no doubt be so grateful they'll willingly worship me. If, <laughs> and this is a big one, if you agree to leave Earth forever. There's no room for two gods in this dimension, and I plan on being it. Well, it's them are you. Clock's ticking, so to speak. <laughs> Well, it's up to you. Do you stay and become the ruination of all these mortals? Or do you accept banishment and leave their world to me? And spare them the suffering? I love these people. And that's why... I'm not going anywhere. What? Do you have to be hit over the head with a shillelagh? Don't you get it? It's hopeless! There's always a little bit of hope left in the human spirit. And I'll find it. You heard him, gnome. Scram. Ow. You're supposed to be frozen. Yeah, well, I thawed out. And Clark's not going anywhere, Mazel Tov. Mixias Pitalik. Mr. Mixias Pitalik. Fine. Have it your way. Ah!